Hello friends. Welcome to Shikshaarthi. In this session, we shall be discussing how to write a non-integer in its expanded form. And while doing so, we will try and ensure that in how many ways can the same number be written when it comes to various expanded forms of the same number. So let's start. Now, the prerequisite for this session is you should have already done the session on the non-integer representation in terms of the place value and the face value of a non-integer. So here, we are assuming a number as 0.123 where point refers to the decimal point which signifies the non-integer form of a number. The first digit after the point is known as the tenth digit or the tenth placed digit. The second digit which is 2 in this case is the hundredth digit or the hundredth placed digit. The third digit after this, the, the decimal point that is we are talking about after the decimal point is 3 which also is known as the thousandth or the thousandth placed digit. Let's see how to write it down first in its basic format which is just like saying this will be written as 0.1 which is 1 divided by 10 plus 2 divided by 100 plus 3 divided by 1000. The same thing if we could have wanted, we could have written this as 0.1 plus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.03. Is this correct when we have written this? No, it isn't because this had to be written as 3 divided by 1000. So after this decimal point, we need to have 3 digits. Please remember when we are talking about the third digit after the decimal point is the thousandth placed digit. In that case, there have to be or there have to be three digits after the decimal point. Okay. Now, can I put point one as constant here for the time being? And can I write this as point zero two three? plus this evaporates now when I say this evaporates that means I have already written down the thousands placed digit and I have shifted the thousands placed digit to the hundreds place and another way of writing the same is we could have written this is nothing but 1 divided by 10 plus 23 divided by a thousand plus a dash. Okay. What is the other way of writing the same? Let's see. Now when I am shifting from this place to this place, can I say, can I write it as 0.123 followed by a dash followed by a dash? That means now we have two dashes, right? So now let me count the total number of cases in which we have written this. So one, one, two, three. Is there any other case in which we could have written this? So maybe if we could have thought about the second case, let's see, is there any other way in which we could have written this? Look, if I say point one, and I want to remove point 1 from here because in all the cases we would see that we have generally uh, you know kept some of, of the place as vacant but not in the, uh, the the tenth place was never kept vacant so let us try keeping this place as a vacant place and see what happens now when we do this, we see now the 10th placed digit or the 10th place has been kept vacant. In that case, 
the digit 1 has to be shifted to the 10th place the, I'm sorry to the 100th place can I write it like this which is just like saying I hope you would have understood this so how many how many cases are there in which uh, we have represented a, a non integer which is 123 a decimal followed by 123 how many cases have we written we have written four cases so a decimal 1 2 3 can be written in the expanded form in four different ways let us quickly talk about those four ways so this is the first way so can I say one tenth or one tenth because I hope you know that here we have taken T as the tenth place H as the hundredth place and TH as the thousandth place so the first way here is one tenth two hundredths and three thousandths now to be more precise here we can avoid writing s here because one is singular i mean it is up to you if i wish i can rub it also but i am not rubbing this because you rem uh, so that you can remember that we can use both but since we are taking a singular count which is one so in that case s should be avoided in the second case now we'll write it as one tenth followed by 23 hundredths and here also we can put a comma third case 123 tenths tenths T E N T H S. Fourth case, twelve hundreds, hundreds, and three thousands. Okay, here also uh, we could have avoided writing. Uh, okay, so now when we are saying thousands, this is what we are saying. So the more you practice, so you would see that if I would have taken 123 as an integer, it looks to be quite simple. But the moment you take three decimal digits after the decimal point, then you would see that if you have to write down the expanded notation of this non-integer, it becomes slightly involving, not challenging. Hope you'll be able to take this learning to the next level.